Thanks for coming out and meeting me today. Man. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. so I just wanted you to tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, your background, and you went to college and you know, your pro aspirations that you had, and things like that. Okay, uh, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I moved to Pittsburgh in 11th grade. I actually went to a high school up here called Woodland Hills. Um, it's like a football, NFL football factory, but I did graduate from that school with, <laughs> with a 3.9 and um, got a scholarship to West Virginia for playing football. Uh, at the West Virginia and was captain of the football team, an All-American, and I got, was fortunate enough to play linebacker, fortunate enough to get drafted to play for Cincinnati Bengals. Played there for a while and uh, Retired because I'm old, <laughs> and I'm doing everything else besides uh, hitting people. So good. Okay. Um, so as you're going to do that journey, and also the journey you're going to do now, like what's been the purpose of like your why? Or something that motivates you? Uh, I actually do have a date for you, June four, June twenty first, two thousand fourteen. I got fired from my job. <laughs> And literally, that day was a Sunday. I got fired from my job. I went in Monday. They gave my paper and said, hey, uh, can't use you anymore. So I went home to my wife and I said, well, have an idea. It's a little bit crazy. And believe it or not, my idea was to get all the trainers in Pittsburgh together to create this fraternity of trainers and go around and help everybody. So I said to the people, and people were like this, no, I'm not doing it. I mean, honestly, that, that, was, the, that was the answer I got. Like, Nah, that doesn't make sense. It was like, well, my vision is we're gonna go help people out. We're gonna do it for free. And the first day, nobody came. So I took a picture of myself, had a selfie, with a selfie, took a selfie, <laughs> and posted it and said what I did for the workout. So the people under that picture said, well, why don't you tell me it's gonna work out? Like I did, but you know, I have a big following. I didn't really, I didn't get the fact that you gotta have a following for people to follow you. At the time, I'm, I'm socially network awkward. I don't know how to do it. So. The next day, like two people came, like, oh man, people worked out and the workout was hard. I did it with them. So my whole thing is like, well, if I'm gonna tell you to do it, I'll do it with you. So a couple days went by, and it was like, okay, that was 10. By the end of the summer, it was a couple hundred people on football field. transplant. I had a lady, um, she came with a positive leg, but she had a, a, a non-running leg. But because she filmed her workouts, she got approved for a, like a, a crazy running leg that's worth $10,000. You know, so it's the small stuff that she always had the chance to see. I had a buddy of mine just posted a picture today, A.S. Hour, he looked on there. He dropped 250 pounds. Like, for real. <laughs> Naturally. To the point he had to get, and then he got approved, he, he taped this, his journey, he got approved to get the surgery to insurance to get the surgery to get rid of the, you know, the excess when you go. So I'm 250 pounds. It was 500 pounds. Now I mean, it weighed the same amount, of, same amount. But it's like the stuff that is that you're not trying to do. That's that's the biggest part. Like the awards are great. Believe it or not, I don't put any awards in my house. I put them in a box I, just so I don't get content. <laughs> I put I put I, I never I don't hang football stuff in my house. I never want to go back and try to relive that. I want to if I got that award last year. And it's in the box. So what about the award this year? It's going to be new awards, new stuff, but I want to do it for the right reason. I don't... It became more of a family environment because there was no uh, fitness level. There was no no beginner stage. There was no advanced stage. There was no classes that, that made you feel excluded. And everybody was helping the other. So believe it or not, like I'm only one voice. So, and I'm not really motivating you. Now, I'm giving you a workout to kick a little butt, but you don't realize the person next to you is the one to motivate you. So it became that friendship, and it's more like people who normally, Pittsburgh's a little strange, and if you're from here, you get it. 
Um, some people here don't communicate well. They don't. Walk, they walk back just in the street. But there, nobody cares how much money you have. Nobody cares if you're black or white. I mean, we're all dying on the on the field on the court. So that's what we have in common. So it's like it becomes that. You see somebody's kid doing something, trying to help them out. You know, see kids running around. So it became like more of a family. Family based, family based fitness where it became more of a, it's a comfortable environment, so it's not a lot of stress. What impact has it had on you? Um, it means it, it means family opportunity. It means work ethic. Um, just the way lifestyle helps you keep a healthy lifestyle. It helps me keep up with a healthy lifestyle. So he has food and stuff and. From the food truck to this, it hits everything you need in your life to stay healthy. Um, it's taught me a lot about uh, accepting people and getting along with others, and uh, it's not just about the fitness, for sure. Yeah. Definitely a family, definitely um, a good environment. You could build friendships here. You could make new friends. I mean, well, that's what friendships are, but you could actually make a family here. Like, people that you actually hang out with outside of AT. Can you, can you explain a little bit about the food truck? Just a little bit. The food truck, all healthy foods, yeah. from uh, chicken to fish, everything's natural, everything's always good. Um, bad thing is, you, he, he normally has the food truck after you work out, so I, I normally eat more. Yeah. <laughs> But it's all good. Okay. All healthy foods, all natural ingredients. So it's, it, it's a wonderful. And so it's kind of a no-brainer. But I research everything that comes with something like this because everything has a cost. Like food stuff is not free, but I, I understood that we had a market for it. So I re researched the market, and I'm like, I put a food truck at a workout with 100 people. Everybody eats. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just fun, and it teaches people how to eat healthy. So we don't. You go on here. There's no fryer. There's no fried food. There's no uh, fried chicken. No fried. Everybody, you got uh, anything? I'm like, nah. It's like, but it's good. But it's healthy. Yeah. So now, when you say A2, it's not just the workouts. It was the clothing line. It was the headphone line. It was the food truck. There was uh, after school programs. There was, uh, you know, the the annual gala. We give away turkeys every year over here in Bradlock. This is down the street right here. It's a very depressed uh, community not far from here. We gave away a thousand turkeys last year. Uh, toy drive, so it became an umbrella, a thing. So it became a lot bigger than me, a lot bigger than everybody. It became like more everybody was ATU, not just me. I'm just a coach. <laughs> so as far as the vision of the company, I wanted to continue to do more programs, do more fundraising for people. We have a 5K coming up actually this Sunday. Um, so it's a lot of different moving parts of it, and without I couldn't do it all alone. You know, so it's like everybody's helping out, everybody within help. You have to describe ATU in one word. What would it be? Awesomeness. Awesomeness. Yes, awesome. Right. Thank you. Necessary. I use three words. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, fix your face. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> a lifestyle. Lifestyle. I guess challenging in a good way. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Okay. That was good.